We've seen news reports in recent years of people being flooded out of their homes following severe storms. What is less newsworthy, but in some cases equally as disruptive, is the water damage caused by burst or leaking pipes. Together, they result in a bill of millions to the insurance sector. Loss adjusters Sedgwick is putting measures in place to reduce the impact of these leaks and to make our homes more resilient. Sharon Thomas dons her wellies to find out more. The winter floods of 2015-16 decimated property and devastated lives right across the UK, with the north of England hardest hit. The cost to the economy was estimated at nearly £2 billion, with the business sector feeling the greatest impact. More than 5 million homes in the UK are at risk of flooding. That's 20% of all residential properties. The pressure to build new houses is greater than ever, so much so it's estimated that 10,000 new homes are now being built on floodplains every year. The net result is a huge surge in claims for water damage. Insurance companies are now having to re-evaluate how they operate, ensuring that anything that is recoverable isn't removed, saving time, materials and money, and therefore greatly reducing the impact of a flood. The cost-effectiveness of a resilient repair is key. It's really important as loss adjusters and surveyors that we understand what is damaged in a building in a flood. Now the materials can be really badly affected by moisture or not affected at all. So our role is understanding a building, understanding the impact on the customer and trying to reduce the amount of material that we remove from the building in a flood. I'm going to simulate the flood now by introducing a thousand litres of water into the unit through this pipe here. Testing typical household materials for their resilience is now more crucial than ever. What we've also got is a flood resistant kitchen with flood resistant carcasses and doors and all the appliances are set up high so that they won't be damaged in the event of a flood. Here at the building research establishment in Watford, they test, certify and advise on all aspects of the built environment. The facility was approached by insurance companies. The insurance industry has a massive challenge to reduce its spiralling outgoings due to flooding and keep premiums down. They're trying to address this by testing all aspects of how a building reacts to flooding in a controlled environment. It's really important to have an independent testing environment like this so that we can uh, try out different products, materials, develop standards so that we can notify the architects, the insurers, the building surveyors, the manufacturers and suppliers on how to come up with the right solutions for these homes so that we can then get people back into their homes quicker after a flood event. So instead of months and years, it's potentially days or weeks. Elsewhere on the site, this test tank generates waves to simulate what happens in a real life flooding situation, testing the resilience of doors for keeping the water out. Here, insurance companies are working in conjunction with industry and academia to test homes for their resilience in such an eventuality. Losing your home to a flood can be absolutely devastating. It's not just the physical damage, it's also the disruption to your family. We can help that situation by not only trying to keep the water out, but also trying to help people recover their homes much, much quicker. That can only happen if we understand how their homes perform, and particularly the materials that their, their homes are made of. The cost of adverse weather for businesses is estimated to be £7,000 per business in the three years to January 2015. Sedgwick and other industry leaders are now working with DEFRA in the Resilience Round Table in an effort to empower them to invest in crucial resilience measures. Some don't have, or indeed can't get, affordable insurance. Flood risk is an increasing issue for small businesses, whether it's the direct impact of flood water entering their premises or the indirect consequences on their staff, their customers and their activities. For those that are at high risk, uh, there's a number of things that they need to be empowered to do, including property level resilience like flood barriers. Sedgwick, future-proofing homes and businesses from flooding by building resilience and enabling those affected to recover as quickly as possible.